All right, guys, this is a queen versus one pass pawn endgame. So this situation looks different than the one that we saw in the intro because this one variation with a pawn and f2 is a draw with best play. So let's say if they go queen d5, trying to attack this king. So let's say they go king h1. Now we go queen h4 to do a fork. So now they go king e2, queen g4, king h1 again, queen f3, fork again, king g1, queen g3, and they amazingly go king h1. And you're probably thinking, first of all, if you don't know this endgame, I'll just take the pawn, I win. And they say, good game, draw. And you say, what? I thought it was a win. You can't do that with a sailmate. The king cannot move, it's not in check, so it'll be a draw and a tie. So, with this situation with the pawn and the f2 and the king on g2, it'll be a draw with best play. Now, this situation we flood the board a little bit, and the king is on the queen side with the pawn, but the situation is no different. So, we have the same tactics that we can use as black to stalemate us and have no progress for white. Now, in this situation, we have a pawn a h2. So this is unfortunately still a draw. So let's say if we go with a queen in, maybe queen g5. Let's say they go king h1. So the thing is, we can't go anywhere on the g file now because I'll be a stalemate. So if we go there, stalemate. And if you go there, all the way back there, stalemate. So we don't want a stalemate. So if they go there, so you can try something like this. And the black king goes to g2. Then you just zigzag in. You'll try. You'll try. This way. And for this is one, black has to know not to go to h1. If you do that, you're going to be having a big smile on your face. It'll be a checkmate. And you're going to be saying, woohoo. But if it only a cop and a player just does this uh, end game, they're gonna go king g1 and play on as a draw. In these situations, if the king is next to the pawn on these four squares and these four fouls, it'll be a draw. But, 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 if the pawn is on the blue squares next to the king, it'll be a win. So let's go to the position that we saw in the intro, which is a win for the white pieces. So this is the position that we saw in the intro. So it's white to move and win, so we have to have a goal. The first goal is to have this black king to go to the, in front of the pawn. So how do we do that? We can do that with just the queen. So let's say queen e7, then go maybe king f1. Then we can go just further to the close to the king. Then they can go king e2 again. They're going to zigzag with a queen towards the pawn king. Then maybe queen e4, king e2. Now we're going to have this thematic move that we're going to see a lot of times. Queen c4, check. So the thing is, if they go king e3, then we go this lovely move, queen c2. If they go king e2, we have this pin so we can move the king in. So we made progress. So they can't go king e3. So they can try to do maybe king e1. Now we have a very good move, queen e4 check. So if they go king f1, then we have queen e3 check, forking again. They have to go king e1, and now queen e3, and we have achieved the goal that we have to set before us. And we go king e7, king e7, or king f7, doesn't matter. The king is closer to the pawn and the king. So let's say if they go king c2, because if they go king c1, okay, we move the king again because of the pin on this pawn on d2. So let's say king c2. Now we're going to do the move that we talked about before to pay attention to, which is queen e4. Queen c4, queen e4 is basically the symmetrical sort of method. So they can go, let's say, king c1. Now we go queen c4. Now we're going to see maybe king b2. Now we're going to do queen d3, king c1, queen c3, king d1, and now we move in. So they can go king e2, 
Then we can go Queen C4 check. Then go King E1. Now we go Queen E4 check. King F2. King E3. King E1. Queen E3. King D1. Now move the king in. So I'm going to try again. King C2. Queen E4 check. Then go King C2. Now we go Queen E3. King C1. Queen C3. King D1. Now move the king in one more time majorly. So if they go King E2. Queen E3 right away force the king to go to e, d1. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. So now we go, for example, king c3, and we only just basically forcing the king to go to checkmate. So king c1 is the only move. Queen d2 check, king b1, and queen b2 checkmate. So hopefully you found this helpful, and this is a really a tradition of doing this queen versus one pass pawn endgame. I'll see you in the next one.